Hello everybody, welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida here for the Coke 0400. We have 42 cars up for tonight's event. Let's get down on pit road for the starting lineup. All right, the, the poll winner for tonight's event is Clint Boyer. Second place is Eric Amarola. And in third place, we've got Justin Allgaier. And then uh, to his outside, we have Kyle Busch. And we have Vergato on the inside and Casey Mears on the outside. There we go. Then we have in row four, Brad Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson. And in the last row, we have Danica Patrick and Dale Jr. We're going to do a quick <laughs> flyby of the field, so that way you can find out where your favorite drivers are. A few notables starting up here is David Gilland, starting really well. However, one of the drivers I would like to talk about is Casey Kane. Uh, had an awful qualifying run. Um, didn't really say much about the car. Probably just slow. Um, another one is Marcus Ambrose and AJ. Nothing really to say there. They didn't really say anything. But let's get ready for the starting command. How many laps is it? 40. All right, here we go. Drivers, start your engines. All right. And they're off. Forty laps up here for tonight's event. We have forty two drivers in the field. One driver did not qualify, however, I have no idea who it was. My memory Mr. is not irrelevant. That good. But uh, whoever it was, they got beat out by Joe Nemechek, who was who the fans and the drivers thought, including him, thought he was not gonna make the event. Well, he proved everybody wrong and actually qualified ahead of Casey Kane and Jimmy Marina and a couple other drivers. We have, I was going to say, that was a pretty notable uh, starting position for a uh, former Daytona winner, Jamie McMurray. But, uh, oh well, I guess we'll see what he can do from the back of the pack this time. As you can hear in the booth, we have this powwow and NMG with us. NMG's first time we've, he's ever commentated one of these races. Pow, this is, I believe, the second? Uh, third or fourth. Third, third, third. All right. Getting ready for the Daytona night race. Pace car off. There you go, boys. And Green. Green. Pretty got an amazing start there. Yeah, he did. Outside wing is kind of connected up a little bit better than the inside, as you see already. Let's try to ride that middle line, trying to keep. Trying to keep the middle line. That's not guys on the yellow line. line. Not yet, at least. Hamlin's already down there. Kozlowski already down to the bottom. All guys are down there. We have Bradley to the bottom there. And all guy are to the lead here at Daytona, but can he hold on to it? Here comes Kozlowski on the inside. Oh, Kozlowski's looking already. He's got a line of cars there that uh, those two outside lanes, they've kind of got two lines pushing them at once. And the inside's really formed up well. It's got, you know, you got Keselowski and, and, and Danica on that inside and Johnson behind her. And that's I think like that's Castle. Gordon there. That's Castle, by the way. Oh, is it Castle? Yeah. I was going to say, that's a really weird Jimmy Johnson scheme. You're going to talk about uh, AJ here. He It looks like he's falling out of the draft, but hopefully... Alright, well, uh, I think he'll be fine. Let's uh, get back up there with the main pack. Kozlowski to the lead. And he clears them. Oh, yeah, the help that, that that inside line has is just a little more formed up than the outside right now. That outside, you can kind of see where the lanes are kind of drifting off there about three, four cars back. They kind of don't know which lane to go with, and they're trying to get formed up, but... Johnson in that outside line has finally jumped down to the middle lane there, and now they're finally the, the middle line with, with now Danica taking the lead. Uh, and, and Landon Castle looking low on, on her. That inside line with all guys kind of taking a step back here. Keselowski trying to block it. Whoa. Okay. They're three okay. wide they're all, all the way through the field. 
we were running a different and package compared to uh, last time we did this. Um, last season, we mainly could not break away from double file. And they were a lot faster. This time, they're a little bit slower. They're a lot more packed up as it'll be Jeff Gordon. Gordon leads them to the line. Don't look now, boys. But that 20 car is starting to look low on Gordon. And ever since he got shuffled high, that 20 car is slowly moving his way towards the front. And it looks like he's going to end up taking the lead here if this line keeps pushing. One thing I'd like to bring up, um, due to some tire compound NASCAR decided to bring here, there's going to be a lot of tire wear here. Around lap 20, you'll start to see that bottom lane will start to struggle a lot. Well, already they're trying to make it work to the best of their abilities. As they are four wide. Who? They're four wide off the corner. Oh, and no. We've got, oh, my goodness. That's not going to be Stewart between Castle, and I believe that's Gilliland on the inside yeah, trying on the to bottom. make it work. I mean, they've got lines everywhere on the track right now. Look at these moving to the front. Gilliland started towards the rear in this race. We talked kind of about how he was starting towards the back. Oh, I oh, oh my goodness. Danica's in the wall. Danica hit the wall. Danica in the wall. They keep it straight for now, but she is significantly slowed compared to the cars She's on the She's backing line. out of it. She's backing out of it. Honestly, we need someone to give now because otherwise there's going to be problems here. As we've got four for the lead now. Oh, Gordon my goodness. The wall. Oh, almost contact. I don't know was Gordon right on his bumper quit. for that entire exit. I don't know how he didn't get wrecked there. They're still four wide, just barely, but they are. Here comes the help on the inside, trying to help that 78 of Martin Truex Jr. Truex, who's never really been good at these plate tracks and never been kind of good at this type of Lap thing. Six, he's trying way. to go to the front. Oh, he's in the wall. Gordon's in the fence. Oh, my goodness. He's still going. Still going strong, four by four. Here they come down the back stretch. It's almost like it's the finish they're racing towards. But it's, what is it, lap six? I think he's going to start pulling away here. Yep. Shrek's trying to clear him. Kansas cannot give much more room. Oh, he's my goodness. Him. Yelland with a smart move gets back down in line behind Truex. Now Truex tries to go up to block those two higher lanes. Oh my god. Which allows Gilliland to get a nose low. Can Gilliland retake the lead? We usually don't see too many drivers get back down to that bottom after they lose it. But Gilliland snuck himself in. He snuck himself in the second on that line and now he's taking it back. Can we take a look at the third part the inside? That is Casey Kane. He started way back there. We are on lap seven. He is the third car on the inside lane. Behind Josh Wise as well. They worked their way through this field. Come I think on. they're trying to calm down Absolute a little bit. Absolute insanity. They're still three wide. I don't know what kind of calm oh, this is. Oh my goodness. It must be the calm before the storm because we've already seen a part of it. Four wide they were earlier on in this thing. Now they've tamed it down to three as Josh Wise is going to try to make his way up to the front. As you can see, Got they're on the nose. bottom lane. They're a lot more closer together and pushing. I think the guys on the top are just trying to drop to the back to avoid the calamity. Guys honestly, on the bottom are going to have laps. Honestly, at this point, if you look at that high line, it's filled with most of our previous leaders of this race, other than Gilliland, of course, who is in that middle line trying to keep his car going as he's squeezing Truex into the wall almost. Wow. But behind him, behind Truex, you've got Gordon, previous leader. You've oh got a few my other God. cars. You've got Keselowski. Oh, the four. The four wide. Again, Casey, Casey Kane. Kane trying to pull something here. He's looking low. He's not going to have the run this time. But will wow. he get help? Is he that Joe no Nemechek behind Casey Kane? I That's Joe it Nemechek. Is. It's Joe Nemechek, the man who thought he wasn't going to make it in the race, is now looking for the lead. He's got a he's got oh, a he's door down low. He's going to duck down low. Edwards has got push. He's shoving him. Come on now. Here they come down to the back Here stretch. Down the back stretch. Why is the leader? AC Kane now looking under the inside. What middle? Whoa! Casey I saw Kane something. Started this race way in the back of the field. He has worked his way towards the front, and there's three cars, three of them, trying Ooh. to fight for this lead right now. And Who's going to lead this lap? It's oh, going to be Nemechek. Wow. By a nose. 
Edwards Nelly. looking for it. Oh my Edwards God, Edwards looking for it. Wide. They're four wide, going into one. Here we go again, boys. Whoa, Nemechek's backing off along with Josh Wise. They're trying to help out Casey Kane. Kane, he's a clear. Oh my he gets God. ahead of him. And the, the 29, again, just like how, Ed, uh, how Gilliland did it earlier. He jumps back into that line right behind the leader. He's allowed himself to, to, to keep the position for a little bit longer. If you look, Gilliland still hasn't fallen that far back, unlike some of our previous leaders who have already fallen victim to, to being way back on the high line. All right, lap 11 and three laps will be the last time we had a caution here. Last season, uh, lap 14, uh, Atlanta Castle went to the stratosphere. Let's see if that happens again. Well, so far, they've kept it clean as far as, I mean, we've had a few cars bounce off the wall, but they've kept them going in the right direction. If that direction I don't right, like the look of this course. one. Kyle and Jake, I don't think I like the way this one's looking. No, they Edwards, are. Edwards oh, took the lead are. there, but there's no way at the bottom now. These cars are going insane right now, trying to find any Is that way to get towards the, the front. Lead. Bobby Labane behind him. What a push. Speaking of Denny Hamlin, he is in a tight points battle with Jimmy Johnson, separated by three points, now eight, because Denny Hamlin led the lap. Wow. Speaking of... Don't um, look now but it's something to think about. The 23 car of Alex Bowman being pushed by none other than, who did I say, that former Daytona winner of Jamie McMurray as they come down the backstretch. That inside line's kind of losing some momentum here, but they're still as strong as ever. They're still trying to find people to push. As, as I say that, Paul Menard jumps out of that inside line. They're going to lose more ground. I feel like there's an issue going on with Alex Bowman. He is lifting right. Wait, look, okay, let's look at the speed here. One, something's wrong with this car. He is not going anywhere. Might he right be now. down a cylinder? Or maybe. Oh, oh dear God! I think McMurray's trying to get a little bit impatient right now, looking to take it four. Well, if you look, there, there's a lot of cars bailing on that inside line. So if they get the chance to make a move, it's, it's now or never because the next line, they're gonna have to wait a little bit for it to get to them. And that outside, like those two outside lines have formed up already. Not for long. Here comes. Now they're making the third lane again because Danica got in the wall and they tried to put him in. Here comes McMurray. Jamie McMurray, previous winner of Daytona, followed by the 83 of, Eight. I believe that is Ryan Truex. Joey has good. joined us. He is not talking at the moment. I am here. And he is here. We have made it a lap 14. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we have caution oh, free? Right. Look at Kyle. Kyle all the way back down the outside line. He started. Fourth in this race? With a fourth or sixth? Fourth. He was fourth in this race and he's all the way back there. And he they could are. be riding it around waiting for that big one to happen. But we've all known that that big one, wherever it strikes, it can always get you. There's Here. nowhere to go. Here it comes Dale. Down. Tail on the bottom. Come on, Junior. <laughs> and he's in Dale. the lead. I think our ear jumps have just gone up because Dale Jr. just took the lead. And they are three by three. How have we not had a costume yet? I don't know. Dude, he cleared him. That 88 is fast. That Look 88. who's got behind him for help. That 21. Old 21 car. I believe it's Trevor Bain there in that car. Uh -huh. I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's Trevor Bain. He's you have a lot of super speedway aces. Behind them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they dumped him. And there Bain. Goes. Bain moved him out of the way. Bain. Trying to to rekindle a little bit of that Daytona magic that he found Bain. all those many years ago. Getting help from the 42 of Larson. Not for long, though, Larson. On the radio saying how he wants to get blown. That could have been bad. Bain slid up the track. Larson took advantage of it. Now Bain being pushed by Dale on the outside and Larson on the inside. Bain leads that lap, but not by much. Your pole winner, Clint Boyer, second to last right now. Well, you gotta be thinking. You gotta be thinking what's going through his mind because I mean he just got shuffled back this race, and not to mention the guy who started behind him is behind him. 
You know, these two drivers have just gone from the front to the rear. You gotta think that it's maybe, just maybe, they're trying to pull something here. They're trying to maybe kind of wait this out because it's it's gotten pretty hectic up front. I will say that. But at the same time, you gotta know that these things can strike anywhere. Those two could wreck by themselves, and that would be their end of their races. We don't know. Speaking of that, um, I just want to bring up that they will have to make a pit stop at one point if we continue green. David Reagan to the inside. Reagan for the lead. Reagan has no help though. He's got no he's help though. He's getting away. Wasp should Number. be able to take that lead back. Now we're at the 22. Lugano can get They're there. They're getting up to him though. Lugano's peeking to the inside. Help from yes. Vickers. Here he goes. Wow. Lugano looks Dude, Vickers inside. Vickers and Lugano just broke away from Ambrose. Not for long, though. Ambrose still got that entire line pushing. They got a lot of shuffling going on towards the rear there. Remember what I said? Anything, any little thing that could happen to take out some of them drivers towards the rear that are trying to wait it out. As Danica, another good car that started towards the front, I believe she was on the inside of row three. She's now at the back of the pack as well, along with Keselowski. A lot of big names towards the back of the pack right now. Well, and all these names, they started up front. They had a lot of promise going into this thing. Now they're at the back, and we've got drivers that were starting at the back, like McMurray, Reagan, all these guys that started at the back. Now they found their way up front, you know? And, and I hate to say oh, it, as, it get loose. as much as it hurts to say this, those cars that are out leading them packs, they hardly ever get involved with anything that happens in the middle of this three-wide, four-wide action. All right, I believe I've the outside never. starting to die off. Michael McDowell to the lead. Michael McDowell. Help from Newman and Biffle. Logano now dumping to the middle. Of. These cars are really trying to find anything to work right now. They've all got cars behind them. Ambrose getting a big run off the corner, it seemed like, but it died off. He's trying to side draft. Not going to be enough. Newman to, Newman to the inside. Newman to the inside. Ryan Newman to the lead. Could prove problematic in his future as he has a tendency to not stay upright in these races. <laughs> nice push out. Cool as we cool. look at wow. Larry, uh, Larry lead lap. Max Trends, he flips at literally any one of these races. So, you know, just saying. Halfway next time by, and I believe we could do a little bit of crank it up. They are so close to that outside wall. Back here at Daytona with 20 laps to go. Kurt Busch to the lead here. He has not won a race since last season, Texas, and that was a bit of a fluke. Well, actually, no. His last one came in the All-Series, but last points paying race was Texas. Don't look now, that three car. He always likes to make his appearance at Daytona at these big tracks like this. He's already looking the inside of Kurt Busch after Kurt led that lap. I think Kerp is appeased with leading that lap, but here we go, guys. Remember what I said about the tire wear. Around that 20 is when that bottom lead starts to fade. Maybe that's starting to happen. There's a four wide oh, lead. Oh, look at four wide. They ditched Dylan. Dylan to the end. Two okay, guys just are with him. They're four wide to the lead. Oh, my God. Don't look now, but here comes back that driver that started on the inside of row two. It's <gasps> Justin Allgaier. He's still. He cleared him. Cole has kept his way. Wow. What oh. a move. Here comes Kerb with a run. Oh, it doesn't Cold matter. He led lap. Wow. 
barely got there. He jumped to the inside on Dylan and somehow still made it work. Now Dylan, Dylan gets shuffled out from Allgaier and Allgaier is going to look to move the, make the same move. They're three wide for the lead still going into the backstretch. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to go green all the way. I, I, I don't know. Pit stops will be very interesting with people trying to pit from three wide. That could prove to be very, very difficult if we start yeah. getting pit stops here soon. It could definitely sure, be a pitch turning him up. point in this race. A 26 car, he's drifting off that bottom. You got to keep that bottom covered. If not, a driver like Allgaier is going to strike. And there he goes. And, wide. and they're four wide. Here we go. Headed Set into house, the one and two. Still four wide. How are they Look surviving? Look at Jimmy Jonathan. He was in the... He was nowhere. Oh, yeah. Biffle's in the wall. Biffle gets stuffed in the fence. He's losing a lot of ground. Check out that whole outside line right now. Kurt's Newman has low nowhere low. to go. And Kurt's stuck on the oh, high line now, trying to keep it moving. Allgaier's back to the point. Hey, look who is up front. Call number 47. He was about oh, to lose the Oh, oh the pit. Here we go. It stops. Oh, this could prove very interesting. We got cars checking up on the track that aren't even pitting yet. They might be out of fuel. Huge checkup. Are they out of fuel? It doesn't look, look like at it. Tony. I told they you were just checking it. up. Stewart was having some big issues there, it seemed like. I know, Tony checked up a lot. I'm happy I'm up there who saw that. Tony checked up a lot. It seemed like in the chance that the drivers were getting to pit road, it seemed like it was just in well, the confusion. Oh! It is in the it grass! Is <laughs> 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 Bro, suspension's a little messed up after that one. I think we might need to go back and see what happened. Oh! Oh, he's gonna, oh my goodness. Oh, wait. wow. He does left it. He, all right. All guy off pit road first. I think the 47 might have gotten turned into the grass somehow off the. Off the uh, let's go take a look at that. No, he just drove into yeah, the grass. The box. I don't know if he got loose. He just forgot where he's at. I don't know. And we got another no. round of, rip of pit stops coming on here. Let's try to see if anyone stayed out. It's Logano. Logano oh, just Lugano. stayed out by himself. Logano trying to be the lone wolf for Ford for Team Penske right now. There Maybe he is. He's trying to lead he, a lap. he might get the draft here off of these off these pit cars. That might keep him in tow enough to uh, maybe have something here. I think he's out of fuel. Uh, he's not slowing. So far, the pressure looks good on the gauges. Hey, no. Oh, he's, he's pitting. Oh, he's he's pitting. pitting this time. He's just going to come to pit road. Alex Bowman has a oh, penalty right now. As well. Bowman had a penalty. He oh. sped down pit road. AJ down pit road Rookie again. Mistake. Yeah, I'd have to think that something happened to AJ there when he was going through the grass. That, that, that just wasn't right. So who's going to take the lead here in all this? Because as the cars are coming off pit road, it's looking like the pack has already caught up with them really well, but they're going to be spread out here. Is there, is, there, is there a pop at the 24? No, he just uh, uh, Ray just they got loose. Ray just drove right by him. Uh, I think he's back in the speed. line. We'll see as Kurt Busch and Eric Amaro. These, are your, down these are your leaders. These are the final people to pit, I believe. Maybe a few others. Maybe Dylan stayed out, but I think those were the two last drivers to pit. This will That's cycle Austin Dillon back out to the lead, I believe. Let's go try to find him. No, he does left the road. And here yeah, comes well, the he's field. He's going to get past here. The field's coming up on him. They might be up to speed here because there's not that many cars lined up. Dillon might have played this perfectly. If he can get back around to those other drivers. Oh, he's, he did it perfect. Road, he did it perfectly. He's going to have a massive lead exactly. with not that many cars uh, behind him. Thought, right, We're I'm commentating right now. I know, but the internet might go shitty soon because I'm downloading something. Just okay, got it. it. Thank you for letting me know. And if you if you if you want me to pause right, it, I'll pause it. it and I'll wait. If you pause you it, wait. Nice. How long is the race going to let go on for? Like, 13 minutes. And yeah. I'll try downloading it. Tell me when it has problems. I'm just going to mute. Got it. All right. See you, Zach. What a nice brother. And I wish I had a brother like that. But. Small pack over here. I lost my brother in Nam. 
Anyways, back to the race. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our Love Your Brother moment, sponsored by Love Your Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Busch all by himself right now, but there's a big pack going on in the back. And Austin Villain's your leader with help from Reed Sorensen behind him. What a pair. Look at these two. They're trying to keep this lead. They're, that pack's coming. Unfortunately, they've gotten built up behind them. There's really not much that these two can do other than just wait and maybe hope for caution so they don't get swallowed up. Other than that, right now, they just got to kind of ride along. And 189 to 194. The they are so much faster right, than them. Here, here comes Sorensen to the inside. Sorensen looking to the inside. He said, no, uh -uh. we're going to block both lanes at once. We're going to uh -oh. try and hold on to this thing. Uh-oh. Bowman really slow on the track, it seems like. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> the closing rate of that pack alone should tell you enough about this draft. Newman As helping his teammate. Them. Newman helping his teammate. Never mind, he's going to look. Looking to the inside. Ambrose looking low. Could Ambrose start to lead this thing? Ambrose was qualified towards the rear of this thing. On now the with bottom. the ups and the magic of everything that's happened this race, he might be looking for the lead here if he can get down there. So far, they're too wide. We've got kind of a little split pack I here. I feel like they're trying to. And they're catching on Bowman, a lap car. What kind of factors are you going to have in this race? Sorensen looking to the bottom. Bowman's going to hold up that outside line. Not by much, though. He's sure. already up to speed. Ambrose is doing this. They're pulling away. Sorensen and Ambrose. Yeah, now Ambrose looks to the inside. Ambrose wants to lead this thing for a little bit. Michael Walsh is behind lead? Casey Kane. Oh, Ambrose is going to lead the lap. Ambrose led that lap. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Did. Just barely Sorensen. Oh, my God. Out. Look at and this pack, though. And they go. They are the king of Daytona, them. David Reagan. That's a controversial cake that will get me fired later. I do not <laughs> care. <laughs> They're going to catch him. And Jimmy Johnson looks low. He says, screw the king. I want to be the court jester. This is where Powell is about to get fired. <laughs> All right. Black traffic still playing a factor. Casey Kane will lead. Oh, my goodness. Help Casey from Kane. Michael Waltrip. He's Waltrip there. looking low. Mikey's there. Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Looking to the outside. That's a first. He looks to the outside. Oh, he's side I've never him. seen a car look to the outside. Especially Just on the front stretch. Sorensen looking to help him. It looks like he what is. Do here. Nine to go. Oh my goodness. He Michael does. Wall trip. Whoa, Whoa Ambrose. 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 Ambrose with a huge run. He looks low. Will side he get hit three wide? Could they? Dude, look at that. He, he's back. looking low. Casey Kane. Michael Waltrip. Waltrip can clear him. Waltrip can clear him. Not yet. No. Oh my God. Ambrose look in the bottom. Look at the on that outside line. Bowman, the lap car, is helping that outside line now. He's gotten up to speed, but oh. Dylan jumps out to the bottom. No help for Marcus Ambrose on the bottom. Gotta feel bad for Ambrose. That's, Wait, there's nothing you can on. do in that situation. The leader situation. of the Packers ran a 46-1. Let's see what Johnson runs here. 46 not. Wait, no, 45-9. They're two tenths faster. Do you think that time? Catch them. They've, they've got a lot of ground to make up, but they very well could make it. Doesn't really help that they're side by side right now. Also, Truex now looking three wide on the bottom. This they could, could be get very there. Very interesting. They could. These cars up front, they're not very organized for being the lead pack. And right now, Michael Waltrip, Casey Kane, they're still fighting on the high line by themselves as Ryan Newman's looking to the inside now of all this with teammate in tow. Oh, he's pushing them real hard right now. Seven to go. We're looking for a good finish here, boys. Hopefully we ain't got no chaos at the end of this thing. But look at that pack. Uh -oh. Just right now. Oh, Danica. Danica by herself. Newman to the lead almost. Once again. <laughs> uh, he's almost right. there. Dylan is shoving him right now. Michael Dylan Walter is giving him anything he can. Strong. Newman he's shoving him. Look on the bottom. Here they come. Through three and four. Mikey with no help up top. He's still holding on to that thing. He's trying to give it everything. He ain't got much left, but that's all he's got. And his he's almost got himself to the lead, but he couldn't clear him. Now Newman gets to the front, 
Dylan's left him. Dylan goes to the inside now. It wraps to go in this amazing way. I don't think that second uh -oh. pass will be able to catch him in time, but Danica, Danica is the the lap car. catching Danica. What is the lap car going to do? She's They're going to take it through the right bottom. Oh, oh, my, oh my goodness. Michael Waltrip has to check up. That'll probably put him out of the running here. Unless he figures something out, that'll slow this pack way down again. Allgaier gets checked up a lot by Danica there. Now Dylan goes to the point. Dylan takes the lead. Now we've still got this big pack still catching them. I don't know if they're going to get there or not, but they're getting pretty close. Dude, they are getting there. there. They are getting there. Austin Dillon, the famed three car in the lead at Daytona. Marco Sanders, the road course ringer to the inside with five to go. Brad Keselowski behind him. Brad Keselowski was at the back of this pack at the start of this race. He has now worked his way up to second on the inside line, looking for the lead if Ambrose gives it to him. Boys, that, that pack in the second oh pack there, they are ripping the highway oh trying no. to make it AJ ground. in the way now. The road course ringers. Road course ringers looking to help each other out here. AJ's on that high line, might be able to block Dylan a little bit. Ambrose might lose the lead to Keselowski, though, if he keeps leaving oh. their bottom open. They're going to get there, but they're going to get all. Oh, they're going to get there. They're going to get there 200 miles an hour behind them. Holy crap. Here we go. What are they going to do? That inside line is open on the bottom there. They don't have anyone down there. The tire wear is just too strong down there. Michael Waltrip's looking low again. Might he be able to get up there? Oh my goodness! Three to go. This side by Jimmy Johnson now up to the front. The He's taking a three wide on the bottom. There and he what's goes. What's AJ gonna do though? Ambrose All the way you're decides to block it. The high lane falls apart. Dylan jumps low. For once, we've seen a car jump to the bottom and finally get out of the way of that lap car. And here Dylan's goes the shot. Team. They're side by side. The rest of the field is getting checked up behind them. And Two laps to go. Lap. Oh go. my go. goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Now the pack is there. Jimmy Johnson. Michael McDowell. Oh my goodness. This is going to be. Oh, here goes Mike. Michael Waltrip. Michael Waltrip on the inside. Go, Mikey. Go. Biffo looking low. Michael Does Michael not have any momentum. Leader. He hasn't got no help. Jimmy, they're looking, Jimmy, they're thinking about it. Step the Come on now. Dylan on the bottom. Oh, Michael Waltrip's almost there. He's still got, he's still got oh. momentum. He's looking for it. Tyler Bush is reeling him in. Two to go. Dylan might lead it. Keslowski leads it. Oh Dude. my goodness. You can't really come help Michael Waltrip. He's I can't keep him, like, kept it wide. Oh, the the still trying to gain him. ground on that inside, but he's starting to lose it. He's got some help in Kyle, but that's all he's got. Oh. Oh. Okay, no, they're not going to get him. about it. They're not going to. He's gonna... thinking about side, it. Side, 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 side. looking a little bit here as we're coming to the white flag. The two and the three. The inside oh. line's got help. Mikey's got help on the inside. He's been waiting for this all day. Here they're coming to the white flag. Michael Waltrip looks slow on Austin Dillon. Oh my God, he's gonna get there. Oh, here they go. White Let's flag. Go Michael Waltrip oh, yeah. has the help. Brad Keselowski way out front. Michael Waltrip oh, gets a shove of a push from Kyle Busch. Here we go. Busch is gonna ditch him. Busch is inside. Kyle Busch looks inside. Michael he's not gonna get there. The lead. Oh guys, look at the final time. Waltrip leading, Kyle Busch second. Here we go. Is he going to take it from him? Is he going to take it from him? He has a massive run. needs to get wide. Michael Waltrip needs to get wide. They've got pushers behind him. Michael Waltrip help from Kyle Busch. Side by side, coming in line. Who's it going to be? This is the finish of the Coke 500. Michael Waltrip on the outside. Kyle Busch on the inside. Oh my god! Michael wow! Second, Austin Dillon third, wow. and the rest of the field is just a mess behind them. Kyle Busch wins the Coke 0400 by a nose. Oh, wow. Wow. Desperation move.
by Kyle Busch. He pushed Michael Waltrip all the way out front, and at the final second, he said, you know what? I think I'll take this one for myself. What let's, a move let's by see the Kyle margin. Busch. He timed it perfectly. Couldn't do Boy, it any if better. Michael perfectly. only had a little bit of help on that outside. He could have really had oh a shot at it. Oh, my God. Oh, Fender. my God. Oh my god. Just what barely. A <laughs> what a finish. <sighs> Mikey, you gave it your all, buddy. But no, Mikey, Bush, no, no, that's so not right. Kyle Bush is your winner. Let's the look at zero four hundred. Let's look oh shit. What, what is that? What is that? Okay. Well, let's go back here and let's see Kyle let's go Bush. Go ahead and watch move. a lap on board. That is perfect time by Kyle Bush. Right in here. Michael Waltrip holds on to it. He drifts just a little bit high, and Michael, he got the itch. Kyle goes to the inside. This, this right here, it's just a wing and a prayer, trying to hope oh. the momentum to get by him, and just barely he gets by him at the final second. Man, I tell you what, that was close. That second pack, they really had help in that time, but they, they just oh. didn't have enough time to get there. Get up front. Reminder, Kai was in that second pack. Kai was in that second pack. Wasn't he last at one point as well? Yeah. yeah. Kai was, was in the, the back. very back of this race early on, along with Keslowski and a few notable others that finished towards the front. Look at one of our own one of our only finishers that started up front this race is right there in that second in the inside line there right now. Justin Allgaier. E He's been all over the place. Same thing with Kyle Busch. Same thing with Keselowski. They've been all over the place this race. Finishing up front, good position to show for it. A.J. Allmendinger, after what seemed like a just hopeless qualifying effort, he Got somehow lockdown. ends up decent. He finished 42nd. <laughs> oh, no lockdown. wonder. That's about right. <laughs> That's about right. Dylan's just going to go burn the thing down. He thinks he's won it. Who cares? He's got Grandpa's money. He doesn't matter. RCR probably bought the track so he could go do one more extra lap. <laughs> they rented it goes. just for one more lap. What a ways. Off what to the way. sunset. The 18 team. Oh, four thousandths of a second. Four thousandths of a second. One of the closest finishes ever here at Daytona. Uh, one of the I feel bad for Mike. That's though. the closest finish in Daytona history. I the last for Waltrip. He was that's close. A, that's the closest cigar. finish in Daytona history. Wow. Four thousand of a second. Do a quick is, run down to the field. This is how ever win at Daytona. Joni Machek thirty fifth. AJ two laps down. AJ was in the back the entire race, except for that couple laps he made his way through the field you gotta remember though remember the car one of the cars that got stuffed in the wall early on there and another one of them that also got hit in the wall uh if you look in the back there a uh not aj but danica she uh she got put in the wall there early on during the four wide madness and never really recovered from it i believe probably got some damage had to wait a little extra on pit stops and never really moved back to the front like some of these other drivers what a race. I cannot believe that went between the checkered. I know, not a single caution at a track like Daytona where we saw four wide action all the way throughout. I mean, there wasn't a spot of racetrack open until the checkered flag dropped. 30 lead changes. That. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Most laps of was only race. four by Kurt Busch. He held on for a little while there, but I think that was during pit stops when he was leading all them laps. Yeah, it was. Right before he pitted. Yeah, so even then, it wasn't by much. Laps led all throughout the field. A lot of points might be going around here. Pretty interesting. See how it shakes up. Heading yeah. into next week's race at Loudon, New Hampshire. That is going to be an interesting race after New Hampshire is the Brickyard 400. New Hampshire is going to be the one. last race with TNT. Indianapolis will be see you on S ESPN. I almost just said FS1. That's the wrong program. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.